2B. Reading. A. Discuss. Have you or has anyone you know ever done a heroic act? Anyone you know, like one of your friends or family member, heroic act is what heroes do, like when you save people and rescue them. To tell you the truth, no, I have never done anything like that, and no one I know has ever done anything heroic. What is the most heroic act you have ever heard of? Maybe you don't know the one who did it, but you've heard about it. In the year 2009, Jeddah flooded. There was water everywhere. And many civilians, civilians, normal people, not the police, no, normal people, helped to rescue trapped people and pull dead bodies out of the flood, out of the water. And that was the most heroic act I've heard of. B. Read the paragraphs A, B, and C and the article. This is the article. It's a piece of writing that you find in a newspaper or a magazine that follows. Which of the three paragraphs is most suitable, most appropriate as an introductory paragraph? Introductory, we put it first. Before the article, we put one of these as an introduction to the article. Let's read the paragraphs. A. Heroes are people who have done something so brave, so courageous or good, that it has made many people admire them, many people respect them and like them for it. Who do you think of when you hear the word hero? Do you think of mythical heroes like Superman and the Incredible Hulk? They are mythical, not real. Or heroic people in history. Heroic? is the adjective, hero is a noun. Like Salahuddin, he is a hero, he has done many things heroic. B. When most people think of heroes, they imagine, they picture in their heads, super beings, again like Superman or the Incredible Hulk, with amazing superpowers. They can fly and shoot lasers from their eyes. The truth is, real heroes, true heroes, are just normal people who live ordinary lives, normal lives. But they have to face, they have to encounter, confront extraordinary situations, unusual circumstances. What follows are a few examples of such everyday heroes. C. If you had to describe a hero you admire, who would you choose? What kind of people are heroes and what makes people admire them? Great courage, maybe? Brave, they are brave. Unusual strength, so powerful. Impressive intelligence, amazing. Smart, very smart people are just a few characteristics, a few qualities that can be used to describe heroic people. Now, let's read the article. Super Dad Saves Child In one incredible story, very hard to believe, Andy Clemens, that's the father, the dad, saved his four-year-old child after he got stuck under a huge bookcase. The child, who is four years old, got stuck, the past of stick, unable to move, under a huge bookcase. Bookcase consists of shelves where you store books. When the earthquake, earthquake is a natural disaster, when the ground starts shaking and cracking, began, started, the past of begin, it means started. Mr. Clemens told reporters, people who write news, the bookcase started shaking, moving unsteadily from one side to another, the tremors, the earthquake, the shaking of the ground, quickly increased, became more obvious, 
and the bookcase shook more and more. Shook is the past of shake, shake shook, more and more violently, more obvious, more powerful. Suddenly, it fell over the child, fell is the past of fall, it fell over Tommy. Tommy got stuck under it. I could see that he couldn't breathe. <gasps> That's breathing. He couldn't breathe. Unable to breathe. The bookcase was so heavy. I don't know how I did it. I wasn't thinking. I just lifted it. Moved to the bookcase. Picked it up and moved it up off Tommy. With all my strength. And he crawled out. When you crawl, you move using your hands and your knees. Did this father have superpowers? It seems it sounds that his love for his child was his strength. He was able to lift this very heavy bookcase because he loves his son very much. Lone man, lone all by himself, he was the only one. Survives, stays alive, crash when two things hit each other violently, unharmed, uninjured. Samir Attar, that's the man's name, survived a terrible, very bad train crash and walked away the only survivor. He was lone survivor, the only survivor. What's more surprising than that is the fact that he got off the train completely unharmed, uninjured. I never bruised very easily. This is a bruise. Samir never bruised very easily. He said when he was asked about how he survived. At first, the train wasn't moving very fast. It was slow. But then it started going faster. When it reached top speed, when it got to its top speed, it was the fastest train I have ever been on. The crash came without warning, without tip-off. His father was astonished as everyone else. Samir's father was amazed, surprised, as all people. I'm relieved, not worried anymore, that Samir is safe and sound. What does that mean? Samir is safe and sound? You say this, someone is safe and sound after someone survives or unharmed after being in danger. He said with a smile, was Samir a superhero? In this case, in this situation, in this story, he was just very lucky. He wasn't a hero. Things went his way. He did nothing. He just survived by doing nothing. Climbers survive the worst. Be here is silent. Climbers, not climbers. No, climbers. People who try to get to the top of mountains like these. In a recent report, not long ago, a report came out. A report is something written or spoken by reporters. One climber rescued his friend. Rescue help someone stay alive. He rescued his friend after the worst avalanche. Avalanche when a large mass of snow falls down a mountain. Large amount, large mass of snow moves down, falls down a mountain in history. It was the worst in history. At first we were climbing and then suddenly we were buried, buried we were under the snow because of the avalanche, under 10 feet of thick snow. 10 feet is like 3 meters, that's the measurement of the layer of the snow that covered us. It was thick, it wasn't slim, said climber Marvin Bailey. Marvin Bailey is the name of the climber. It was as dark as night, we couldn't see anything. It was dark under the snow. My legs were so numb. I couldn't feel my legs from the cold that I couldn't feel them. But I kept calm, not nervous, calm. And I began to dig myself out, move snow away 
so that I can get out of the snow. When I finally reached the top, I searched for and found my friend John. He was unconscious. Not dead, no, unaware of anything that was going on. When I pulled him out, he was as white as a sheet, like a sheet of paper, very white, that was his color. But fortunately, he was still alive, he wasn't dead. That was the most frightening, very scary moment of my entire life, my whole life. Was it courage and determination, willingness that made Marvin Bailey a hero? Perhaps, maybe, it was just his desire, his will to live and to help a friend which freed him from the snow. When you free someone, you make him unstuck. He is stuck and you free him, you let him go. So which of these paragraphs is the most suitable as an introductory paragraph? A. No. It's about mythical heroes or heroes in history and these people are normal people. C is so general, it's not specific. B, it's about, you know, everyday people who live ordinary lives, but they sometimes face unusual situations. So B is the most appropriate, the most suitable. C. Read the article again and answer the questions. Write the correct letter, A for Andy, Andy is the super dad, S for Samir, the unbreakable man who survived the train crash, M for Marvin, the climber, in the boxes. Which person survived a natural disaster? Natural disaster like a hurricane or an earthquake or an avalanche. Okay. Marvin survived the worst avalanche in history. It was very bad. The dad and the son survived an earthquake. This one is even worse. So, Marvin. Which person actually did nothing heroic? Samir was just lucky. He did nothing. Who can't explain how they managed, how they were able to do what they did? That's the super dad, the father. I don't know how I did it. He can't explain. Which person had never been so frightened in their life? That's Marvin. That was the most frightening moment. Which person was in an accident, unfortunate incident, in which no one else survived? He was a lone man survivor. That's Samir. He was the only survivor. Which person pulled someone to safety? That's Marvin. He pulled his friend out. D. Match the words highlighted in the article with their meanings. Crawled, unharmed, bruised, numb. Numb. B is silent, not numb. No, numb. And entire. Whole means all, everything. Moved on hands and knees. Knees are the joints between your thighs and your legs. Not hurt. Got marks on the skin. This is the skin that covers your body. These are red marks as a result of an injury. Not feeling anything. Crawled. You move using your hands and knees. Unharmed not hurt, bruised, marks on the skin, numb, not feeling anything, entire, whole. E. Discuss. Which of the three incidents, the three accidents in the article, do you find the most heroic and why? Samir has done nothing heroic at all. He was just lucky. So we will just exclude him, okay? Forget about him. There is the super dad. He's a hero. He saved his child. And there is Marvin, who survived an avalanche and saved his friend. Which one do you think is more heroic? I would go with the super dad. The reason is he saved a child 
and he was actually still in danger himself. You know, after Marvin digged himself out of the snow, he was already in safety. The avalanche had already stopped, but the father, when he started saving his son from under the bookcase, the earthquake was still hitting, so it was still danger for him to stay at home. So I choose him. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.